All right, welcome back. In this session, we're going to be cutting the pocket uh, that is in this block and as well as the five circles over here. So remember, if I go back to my drawing, we're going to need to cut a half inch deep pocket all around here and all the holes are going to be uh, all the way through. So let's go back over here to the drawing. Now real quick, if you do want to change the view of the block, so basically if you want to see it in 3D, Come over here and click on shaded. If you click on shaded, you'll be able to see the entire block and how it's going to look like. Now that's before you machine these pockets and the holes. So come over here and uh, click on wireframe and it will show you back the wireframe again. All right. Now one other thing in operations manager. Now usually you'll be seeing the toolpath for you um, usually while you're cutting the part and doing everything. But for this one, you're going to have to click on solids. If you click on solids and then click on the plus over here, you see all these steps that you've been taken. So first we've extruded and I will keep this open so you see every step that I've taken. All right, so now we're gonna go back to extrude solid and click on it, okay? And click on the chain that is in this pocket. Okay, so if you do wanna change the view of it, if you like, you can put front or top view. I like to keep it like this so you guys understand more of what's going on. So this is the chain of the pocket, I selected it. After I selected that, I click on OK. And we're going to have our extrude chain pop up again. Now this one, we've had it pop up before. But this time, now that we have a body, we need to do a cut body. OK? Now we're cutting into this part. We're not uh, creating another block or extruding out of it. Now, if you notice that the arrow shows green up, Okay, we want that to be facing down. So we want it to be in the down direction. So all you do is come down and click on the bottom side. If you click on above it or on the point again, I'm sorry, if you click on the line, it will reverse it from being up or down. Now we can't cut anything up right now because there's no material up there. So we have to make sure that it's cutting down into the part. Now, once we have that done, you definitely want to change that to 0.5. Okay, once you have that done, click on OK. And you're going to see it create one. Now, if, if I hold my scroller button and I move it around, it will show you my part and how there's a pocket in there. So you can understand it a little bit better. Also, if I click on my shaded, you'll be able to see the pocket a little bit better over here as well. So I'm going to go back and click on isometric. And I'm going to be doing the same thing, but for my circles that are over here. So I'm going to go back to wireframe so I can see those circles better. Or if some of these lines are going to get in your way, you can always put it in the top view. I'll keep it over here like that. Go back to extrude. And for these, we're going to have to basically select those five circles. Okay. And click on okay. And you can see they're already pointing all down. And all you have to do is either click extend through all, which means it will, you know, take it through the part or you can change that to one inch and it will go one inch through the part, which is the entire part. Remember to have cut body selected because that's what you're doing. You're cutting into the body and then click on OK. And there you go. It shows the geometry that you have five holes through the entire part in this geometry. So this will conclude our session. You've just learned how to do an extrude cut in a pocket and an extrude cut in uh, through five circles.